Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Connie Kenneth and so if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so I can bring more videos and it just encourages me to bring more and more and more and more videos showcasing Africa and you know the African story told by the Africans. So today's video is uh, from the YouTuber, the American YouTuber, uh, Coop's Corner. All right. And so um, he's talking about, you know, street food tour in Nairobi, Kenya. And again, um, I, you know, I'm just curious to know because <laughs> there's so, so many different types of, you know, street foods in Kenya. And I would love um, to see what he's about to, you know, to eat. So let's get straight into this video. Yes, it's all about learning, you know, you know, when you're from the diaspora and you go back home, if you're African American or, you know, if you're French and you need to see, you know, your roots, then you just have to travel back home. And it's about learning about, you know, your roots and where you come from and stuff like that. So I guess that's what Jackson is doing right now. So let's see. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jay Koo, and today I am in Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm going to be trying authentic Kenyan street food. So that's how you're going to do us, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be so difficult just seeing all this food. Oh my goodness, just seeing all this things that I love, that I love, you know, from Kenya. But yeah, let's. I'll, I will just, you know, I will just assume that, you know, I don't like those foods because, oh my goodness, I just saw chapatis and chapatis are my all-time favorite, so, I want some. <laughs> there are a lot of different street foods here in Kenya specifically. I'm going to try to get mm -hmm. as much. Oh, you have boiled eggs just before, then you have some smokies. I guess, yeah, we used to say smokies as well. So, these are, you know, like street food sausages and they are so good. And they just remind me of hot dogs, you know, when you have the hot dog sausages to give you an idea, it's just like a hot dog. So really good. As I can. I have my Nairobi Kenya resident here along to help me so we can see exactly <laughs> what is the best street food. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Wow. Yeah. Those are sweet bananas. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love, love the sweet bananas. So why do you call them sweet bananas? First of all, they are sweet, like really sweet. They're very short, I mean, compared to a normal uh, banana. But if you eat those, I mean, you can finish all of them at a go because they're extremely sweet, but it's not a good idea for your stomach because you can bloat, you know, you can have a bloated stomach and everything, but they are so good that you're just diving and you don't want to stop, you know? So, sweet bananas. Mm. Okay, how much is it? 50. 50, okay. Thank you. What, what did he say? Okay, so the bananas are... Okay. Thank you. Mm. Very good. Tastes like a regular banana, it's just, it's just smaller. It's really good. We didn't introduce her. Please like say your name to the people. Is yeah, she's Wangeshi. She's so pretty. She is so sweet, you know. She looks intelligent as well. Ah, oh, she's uh, shy. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Wangeshi. So, how do you feel about these bananas? I feel like they're just like regular bananas. They're but extra sweet. Extra sweet. Extra sweet. Exactly. They're sweeter, okay. It's mass, guys, fine everywhere. It has a different taste to it. It's good. As you guys can see, very, very small. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about these. Just yeah, yeah, that's how I would qualify. It's like more like a bite, you know, just a, a bite. Like you can just have it in a bite, you know, it's that small. And so it's like a concentration of a lot of sugar in just one small banana. So it's extremely tasty and full of, you know, flavor. Just that they're smaller. Mm. And you can eat a lot of this without... Good luck. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was the first street food right there. I give that like a, a eight out of ten. Okay. Sound good? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. So uh, then I have to be very careful about the next ones that are coming. Okay. So if I was to um, give it um, give it a number, I would say yeah, probably 
8 out of 10, well, 7.5. It's good, but after some time, it's just, yeah. So, 7.5 for me. Sawa, sawa. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's keep this thing going. Oh! Traffic in Nairobi is crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not even crazy. It gets crazy. That can make people work up an appetite for some street food, right? <laughs> exactly. Ooh, that's chapati. That's chapati. Um, so it's like a sort of a bread, you know? So that is commonly taken with either, you know, um, I would say sauces like you can have like meat or I, I think it's cabbages, you know. Uh, so you have meat and cabbages for, for him. Okay, so chapatis are the bomb, really nice. So what is this we're getting, Wangation? We're getting chapatis. Yeah. Okay, so what is this? Uh, chapati. Chapati. chapati, guys. So, like, is this like a popular street food? Street food, home food. Mm, okay. Home food. I remember back in the days when I was a child, in the chapatis were just for special occasions. Uh, why? I think because, uh, first of all, special occasions, so when I say special occasions, so marriages, uh, when you have meetings, family gatherings and stuff like that, um, then it was just a sim symbolic to, you know, to, I would say a special occasion as well as chicken as well. So those are the things that we used to eat just on special occasions and it takes time to make chapatis. It takes time. For you to make the dough to make you know to help the dough rest and then to to roll it up and so it's quite a process so uh, but i guess today with the street food that has come out now it's been years now then you can just buy it instead of making it yourself so you have more and more people who tend to just buy it you know on the street it's easier than just going home and making it you know by yourself so so how much would something like this cost mm. see how that is good like yeah, chapatis are good. So street food, it depends where. I know there's a place my mom uh, would buy chapatis. I remember the last time she came visit me, she bought me some. And they were so good. So those were a 10 for me. So I don't know, you know, how well these ones taste. Is it something like inside of it or it's just, it's just bread? It's just it's bread. bread. Chapati, guys. Very good. Mm. I think good with, like meat inside of it. You can order meat separately. He has this really good one. What is that? You should ask him. You want to kill him? Just the food. It looks amazing. Right? He's eating. What is that called? Oh, that's ugali. Eating ugali. Right. The sukuma wiki was telling. Yeah, so sukuma wiki in, uh, in English is kills. So this is, a, this is like a staple food. I would call it staple Kenyan food. Is You know, in most families, every single day, you, I mean, People just eat ugali and sukuma. We can some meat um, on the side. And you're about and meat, meat stew. Oh yeah, you see, <laughs> yeah. So you have some beef stew, and I guess my favorite, uh, you when it comes to sukuma wiki is when you mix it with uh, spinach. So spinach just because kale is uh, a little bit um, the text. Well, I would say, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's really a rough, rough. I would say when it's raw. And then when you cook it, it's t it's still roughish, I would say. But then when you add uh, spinach in it, it, just softens up the whole thing, and it is so good, so so good. So the people put that inside of this. You can, mm -hmm. but it should yeah. be called a samosa. Guard, this is good, but I don't think it's the best street food in here. Miss <laughs> Mangeshi is going to show us what's the best street food. So for me, a chapati, if it was good enough, I would give it a 10. Let me know in the comments below what is, I mean, chapati, how how many points would you give it? Okay. Or in the morning with some chai, so with some tea. I love chapati with tea in the morning. If I could make chapatis every single day of my life or just eat it for lunch, breakfast, dinner, name it. And also with tea. It's really good with tea.
we're gonna probably get this with something else that we get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't that. So and that just be- yeah, you just don't eat chapati just alone. You have to accompany chapati with some something else with you know like uh, meat stew or with tea or you know for breakfast and stuff like that. So. Like lunch or supper. This is right. just a snack. This is really a snack, which is why this is street food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What does the Kenyan woman rate the chapata? <laughs> Am I saying the right thing again? The chapata. No, tea. Chapati. Chapati. How you rating the Kenyan lady? You had better. You got mm-hmm. better than that. Okay. A seven. Okay. okay. See, so like she's had the best of this stuff, so it's a little different. Right. All right, guys, on to the next location. Give us a smile, one <laughs> <laughs> With 50 shillings, I can get one of that for 20 shillings. I can still get the beef stew for, I think, 20 yeah. shillings. What? Yeah, you have the cheapest uh, street food in Kenya for sure, for sure, for sure. So you can't starve. You can't starve if you don't have a high budget and you want to travel to Africa in general. Um, you know, you can't starve. Everything is just so cheap. I know. So what would you, what would you do with the extra? Uh, did you say 46 US dollars? No, less than that. Less. 30 shillings. What? I know. So what would... Ah, 0. 0.46. Okay, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What would you do with the extra? You got 20 shillings left, right? Yeah. Take maybe the cabbage. Oh, mm, that yeah. sounds good. Oh, the cabbage or the green beans. Right. Yeah, diet. You can get right. street food for cheap here in yeah, Kenya. Cheap. All right, guys, let's keep going. <laughs> my man, so what is it that we're getting, Wangechi? Boiled egg. Yeah. Ooh. And for some reason, the boiled eggs always taste different when you buy them from the street. The egg yolk is just the bomb. I don't know how they make them because I'm telling you, they are so good that I've never had the same. Um, I never make the same myself. I don't know what how they. I, I have no idea how they make them. But the the street food. I mean, the eggs. You know, when you buy them. In the streets, they are so good, and the smokies, oh my goodness. It's called smokey, I don't know how you want to rest. Mm. Oh, call smokey. it what you call it, smokies? Yeah. Okay, smokies. <laughs> smokies, yeah, we call them little smokies. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Yeah. So you want to take them here or you want them back? No, here. Here. It's better here. How was your day? It was good. How was yours? Mm. I can't complain. Yes, sir. But it's too sunny. It's too sunny? This is beautiful. How do you want it marinated? Oh yeah, you can you can put some. So I prefer just salt or kachumbari. So kachumbari is a mix of tomatoes. You have coriander. You know you have some pepper if you want. If you want it, you know spicy. Uh, but I just like them simple. But sometimes for a change, you can just you know put something different. Yeah, I try chili this time. Chili and salt, right? Yes, sir. Authentic street food, guys. You need uh, mm. some sauce. Yes, please. No. And by the way, in Kenya, we don't say ketchup. We say tomato sauce, you know. And the tomato sauce is on a different level. It is so good, guys. Like the tomato sauce in Kenya. Mmm. And on your fries. Mmm. It's And even the chili sauce is so good. So, so good. So try try out the tomato sauce in Kenya when you're there. Do you have chili there already? Nah, no, no more chili sauce. Mm. Boiled egg time, guys. How does it taste? Yeah, that's kachumbari. I hear some of my clients tell me when they boil the eggs at home, they don't taste the, the way they eat ours. Oh, taste. right. It's true. They don't taste the same. I can tell you the secret. Ooh, I want to know. I'm here for it. <laughs> I am here for it. Oh, he's going to tell the secret? I'm here for it. What's the secret? You people use water. Right. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> it's not in a bad way that i don't know for some reason that's how kenyans say it like you people but not in like not in a not in a bad way okay so it's just <laughs> you people what do you mean you people boilers in actually boil mm. you're supposed to steam the eggs okay. oh steam oh i've learned something new when you boil them the oh, eggs get soaked in water. Okay, yeah, but that makes sense. When you boil them, they get soaked in water. So when you steam them, then they don't. Oh, that makes sense. But when you steam, the eggs don't get soaked. 
Okay. I know some stuff, guys. You should always learn, right? Yeah. Every day. Right. Mm. Man, he's putting all types of stuff in there, guys. Looking Ooh. good. Thank you. Woo! A little smoky, guys. Alright, guys, so mm. smoky is yeah. good. I'm salivating right now. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. I want some. I don't know why Miss Wangichi doesn't like it. It has like a like a hot dog. Right. Onions. Not a bun. It's good. It's probably bad for me. Yeah, but personally, I prefer without anything on top. You know, I prefer just raw. I think you would have appreciated even more, you know, without all the toppings and stuff. So, just my opinion. It's not bad for me. Uh, mm, I love it. I get that. Yeah, so for me, uh, the boiled eggs, an eight for me. The smokies, eight as well, I would say. I prefer the... Um, the sausages from um what do you, what's the company again? Um you know the the oh my goodness I I I don't know I don't remember the you know but the most common sausages in Kenya they are for me they are the bomb okay so smokies are good but I prefer the other sausages. The egg I give the egg a seven out of ten. Seven. Seven out of ten. I give the smoky eight out of ten. Okay. 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 Right. I'll say it's good, this is a good combination. But you're going to need water because it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Asante. Oh, there goes the peanuts again. I love me some peanuts. Oh, I love the peanuts. I prefer the peanuts with the peelings, okay? They're good, but you can just wrap them and, you know, remove the peeling. But personally, I prefer with the peeling. Okay, so you have to tell us what just went down. When I bought donuts, just 20 shillings. 20 shillings. This one knows all the spots, man. Let's go. Now, I've already had some of these, and they were really good. Yeah. But how do these taste, Miss Wangechi? They're salty. Salty, yes. If you eat with the, the peeling, mm -hmm. it's not as salty <laughs> as with the peeling. Right. But with the peeling, it's salty. It's so salty. But it's still nice. The bad thing about this ground one, after you eat, it'll be so tasty. Right. Yeah, you, you're so thirsty afterwards. And if you're going on the date, make sure you check. Because on your teeth, sometimes the peelings can just, you know, just decide to stick there. And, you know, when you're smiling, it can just, you know, put off your date. <laughs> just saying, just saying, you know. But yeah, yeah, you get really thirsty after that. I got some water for you guys. What are they called again? Jubukaranga. Jubukaranga. Yeah. I'm going to try one with it on, one with it on. So this is with it on right here. Right. This is the saltier version. Okay. Oh, so yeah. Good. The reason why like, I really didn't want to eat these is I'm going to ruin my appetite. <laughs> I'm going to eat this whole bag. Like, let me eat this outside because this gets right. messy. It's really off. I'll rate these. Wait. Before you rate them, I rate those 10. 10. It's a 10. It's a 10. You can never be disappointed. 10. Straight up. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Oh. This is like the perfect right. because you can just take, rip it open, mind your business, walk jumbo. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always buy them, that, you know, when I'm in the Matatu and I have to travel from point A to B. Um, so for, if you don't know, a Matatu is a public transport in Kenya. So the, the, I think the best matatus are found in kenya why because the music is on another level you know you have a tv inside the buses as well so i always have my njugu karanga or the tropical mint you know because i love that too they're just simple snacks that you can just eat and go you know in the matatu eat your nuts you'll be good what do you give it miss wangage with the feeling with the feeling okay <laughs> A 10 out of 10. A 10 right. out of 10 with the filling. Because it's not messy. Right. It's still salty. Yes. Without the filling. Uh huh. You give it a 9. Okay. That's still high though. <laughs> because of the mess. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I see where she's coming from. Because without the peeling, it's a little bit different. But with the peeling, you're like 
10 over 10, you know. So, yeah, I agree with her. I see. Honestly, you should try. Right, but so far, this is the best, I think. Nice, she's smart. Well, I'm not, guys. I like to eat junk food. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to keep this tour going, guys. Let's have some more fun. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta, like, put that song in here so they know what you're saying. <laughs> right. That's so true. When you say jumbo, systematically people know you're a tourist. Don't say that. Just say sasa, which means like hi, um, you know, just say sasa and, and, you know, the person will reply poor. But when you say jumbo, you're categorized as a tourist, 100%. She's right, one, yes, she. That's so true. <laughs> All types of stuff right here, guys. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Ginger nuts are so good. So again, from the Manji company. Okay. Oh, lemons. I prefer the Tangawizi ones. I don't know. I've never tasted the lemon one, so maybe I should take. I should try them out. But uh, I prefer the Tangawizi. With ginger. Nuts. And the crunchy lemon. Yeah, the crunchy lemon. Okay, so how much did that cost us right there? So just five shillings. Five shillings. Five shillings. That's Once she saw these guys, she wanted to just run straight to them. So like they like have to be good. It's good. Like what does the ginger taste like? Yeah. Honestly, the ginger one. Yeah, the tangawizi. So tangawizi is Swahili for ginger, but the ginger ones are so good, and I like them with coffee or any hot drink. But coffee. Uh, but the other ones, I don't really. I don't know if it's a different brand, but um, never tasted. This is the lemon right here. She has the ginger, I have the lemon. Oh, that lemon is crazy. Do you know what I need with that? Milk. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, I think it's it's not a good choice, but you know, we all have different taste buds, but I prefer them with a hot drink. Uh and personally the, the ginger ones I would give them an eight. Yeah, I yeah, I would give them an eight. They're nice, they're they're very, very nice. But the other ones, I have no idea, so I will not rate them. He needs some milk! <laughs> it's like a 9.5. Okay. So off the muscle, guys, the ginger is softer than the lemon. Yeah. Being from the States, wherever you're watching this from, this tastes like a ginger snap. Okay. That's all I did. We got those ginger snaps. But the R's are like crunchier. So I give that one, you're not going to like what I give it. A 7. Okay. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> what are you okay. giving the lemon? If it was harder, it would be better. But for the price that we got that for, you can't beat that for a quick bite walking these Kenyan streets. Let's keep it. Jackson, for some reason, you're so naughty. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> yeah. If it was harder, it would be better. <laughs> and that's why he just wrote like pose, like super pose, right? Oh. But for the price that we got that for, you can't beat that for a quick right. bite walking these Kenyan mm -hmm. streets. Let's keep this thing moving, guys. Sour, sour. Okay. <laughs> so what is that called again? Samosa. Oh, that is... Oh. 10 over 10. 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. But then you have different types. You have with beef or you have them, you know, with uh, potatoes inside. Both of them are so good. But if I was to choose... I would go for the tomato ones. Listen, my mouth, I'm just, my mouth is just watering right now. I'm salivating right now. Oh my goodness. The potato ones are so good. Uh, but samosas, 10 over 10. 10 over 10. 100%. She ran over here, guys, mm. so that has to be good. Chip sauce. That's what that's mm. called? Yeah. Oh my God. But why all the sauce? I mean, that is, uh, no, just eat the like that. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my goodness. I would rather just have them with no sauce at all. Nothing. No toppings. No, 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 no. It's messy, don't you? Ah, okay. Yeah. The ones with potatoes is so good. So 10. 10 for me. You want it to vegetable. You're not vegetarian. Like it. Mm -hmm. it seems like people eat just for like breakfast. Yeah, it's like a breakfast. No. 
popular. Again, in the other one, no, I mean, this one, the vegetable one. Why not? Like this one, the best. Yeah. So this one has meat instead of. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I think for especially with the with the maybe the American taste buds, I think you would prefer the meat one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. The meat brings it to like another level. Like, mm -hmm. hold on. Look at that. It makes it much better. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you prefer it to <laughs> to the other one, yeah. That's like a taco, but softer. Yeah, but softer. I'm just chilling right now, guys. Might <laughs> so be the winner. Did you want some? Mm -hmm. No. It's not good enough. Now watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no guns in Kenya. My God. <laughs> Guys, y'all have to get this. Yeah. How much did we spend for that banging? What is that called again? Samosa. <laughs> Samosa. <laughs> 30 shillings. 30 shillings. That yeah. was good. She wasn't feeling it the way that I was. So what are you ready for? The onion, the potato one, the vegetable one. I'd give it like an eight. An eight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd give that beef one an 11 out of 10. Oh, 11. Because <laughs> look, when I like first bit it, it was like, uh, then I got to the middle. Uh -huh. Oh man, that thing was slapping, man. The beef, the freaking mm. tomatoes and stuff was on there. Guys, try yeah. that samosa when you come to Kenya. To do it. Yeah, so the samosa with the kachumbari, it makes sense because we actually have meat. We always have meat with the kachumbari. So it's it's a tomatoes and, you know, the topping. So, yeah. Mm. What about the veggie one? The veggie one was like a six out of ten. Oh, okay. When I get older, maybe, like, we can do that one. <laughs> Right now, like, you know, I'm not really so feeling the best, it. The best should be the pipes of pipes Yeah, probably. Yeah. The beef samosa is probably the best one. Okay. Continue. Let's go, guys. <laughs> what did I just see? Oh, my goodness. Oh. That is crazy, guys. Look that up like we're eating. <laughs> oh my goodness that's a kebab you know and it's so strange because from one country to another the kebab is different in kenya it's, it looks like that we call it a, a kebab in france a kebab is completely different it's like completely different from you know from kebabs back home so oh my goodness i used to eat that like every single day Honestly, guys, if you ever go to Kenya, so I give this one, I don't know how good it tastes, but if it tastes where I used to buy mine. So here's the thing. I used to buy, so the kebabs um, and, of course, um, the bajiyas. So bajiyas is a sort of a fry that, you know, that is mixed up with spices or something. And it was so good. And we used to go to the same place over and over again because they were so good. So I would definitely give this one a 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. She like it, guys. So hold on. We didn't even tell them what this was. <laughs> okay, so what are we eating this one, Gage? A kebab. A kebab. Yeah, kebab. Kebab, kebab. Kebab. She calls it a kebab. It's, well, we say kebab. Oh, uh, kebab, again. It looks a little different. Like, it's like that, that like, crust on the outside makes it feel weirder to me. You obviously like it. Mm. It yeah. looks very dry. I mean, it has always been a bit dry, so that's why the topping here makes sense because it's really dry, okay? But, um, yeah, but it's really good. So this one, Gage, she did not give me high hopes on this. <laughs> this is probably the scariest one so far, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, let's try this. I like it. It has like a ginger taste to it. It tastes good. I mean, it's different. This right here has to have ginger. Yeah, but I have no idea what's in a kebab. I have no idea what they put inside. Do you know, guys? I think there was some potatoes inside, maybe mashed potato. I don't know. I have no idea what's in a kebab. So let me know in the comments down below if you know what it's in. I know the wrapping around it. I think it's uh, it's egg. I think it's a, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the, in, in the comments below what the Kenyan kebab consists of. Right? Yeah, yeah, but they're inside. What's on the inside? I don't even know, but it's meat. <laughs> okay, you see, she doesn't even know. I have no idea. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, guys, so. <laughs> is this the last one right here? This one, yeah, this is the last one. I give this.
this like a seven out of ten. Okay. Seven. What are you give it to six? A six? It's okay, guys. I mean, yeah. try it maybe. You know what I mean? Now it's time to rate all of. Well, we're gonna rate the best one. Cause you guys remember which one is which? It is chaos out here right now. Okay, guys, that is the end of our Kenyan street food tour. <laughs> this one day she is still eating. Now we have to give you guys our favorites out okay. of all of the food. That um, so before you do so, um, my favorite would be the samosa for me. It would be the samosa for me. And number two, I would say the the, the ground nuts, so the peanuts. Oh. And number three, the ginger snaps. Okay, so that would be my my top three. But number one for a fact would be the samosas. That we had. So what's your favorite, Miss Wendy's? Sweet banana was her favorite. Tasty, mm. healthy, nice, small. Samosas. Okay. Yeah, it's a healthy choice. It's a healthy choice, you know. You know, but uh, if you like snacks, then most definitely, you know, it will be something different. <laughs> Guys, I'm going with the beef samosa. Okay, oh my god, it was so right. good. Guys, the beef samosa was amazing. Right. But one thing that you really should do when you're getting street food is drink water. Your mouth is going to be freaking dry as heck in this heat out here. So I had a great time. Did you have fun, Miss Wangage? I did. I'm so cool. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be back at you with some more videos here from Kenya. Make sure you hit that like right. button, hit that subscribe button more videos like this and we will see you later. How do we say bye in Swahili this one day? Bye. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching this reaction video. I hope you enjoyed it as much um, as I did. And you know what? I'm just going to run to the kitchen and get me something to eat because they got me so hungry. So if you like my reaction, make sure you share, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And so um, most of you are not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe as well. And so I will see you in the next video. So thank you so much, guys, and bye. Bye.